From the dust, a new god has arisen, a false god, but believed by the masses, a god many worship blindly, and he is called Fame and Fortune. There is a line from a song by the rock group Queen which goes, I want it all, I want it all, and I want it now. We live in a society where greed is good. That's if you believe Michael Douglas playing Gordon Gecko in the film Wall Street, where it's cool to want fame and fortune and everything that goes with it. We are saturated with reality TV shows, mind-numbingly boring, and we are force-fed a daily mental diet of crap which is designed to subdue our brains, stifle our consciousness from questioning and becoming compliant like robots. Many people desire great wealth or fame, but these things do not enhance our spirit and soul. They are temporary and pass like ships in the night. We need to develop a higher principle in life than me, 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 to learn the true meaning of sacrifice and unconditional love with peace and goodwill to all our brothers and sisters collectively called the human race. These qualities that most sadly lack are essential for our spiritual growth. We must be like gardeners of the soul and cultivate these seeds within us. We can learn no greater truth than knowing we alone are responsible for our soul growth, not an external self-proclaimed authority, and nobody will do it for us. We are each responsible for ourselves, but more than that, we are all responsible for the world we live in. Through millennia, we have created our own stumbling blocks and put boulders in our path to inner fulfilment and happiness because we have failed miserably to learn the wisdom of life, making the path we all travel an uphill climb and struggle. But we must step forward together in carriage and change the direction to which we head like lemons off a cliff. Our progress depends on a change of attitude and a desire and willingness to learn and listen to God's great plan. As sure as the sun rises each day, a day will come when we will awaken and that day is now from our sleep of ignorance and live in love and harmony with a true understanding of others' needs. There will be no racial prejudice, no religious intolerance, just a harmonious existence and realisation that all is one, we are all connected. The old saying, you reap what you sow, is true. But we are personally responsible for our actions and words towards others. When someone is unkind to you, don't react with anger or hate, but send them a loving thought. By showing love and compassion to others, no matter what their race or social position in life, you set a good example for others to follow, thereby creating the desire to learn the real meaning of individual responsibility. Be a beacon of light to others in their darkest hour and walk forward with the sword of justice held high in your hand. Feel the inner joy of knowing you are the light behind another step forward. You are the light in the darkness on the road of self-discovery. Step forward in courage and certainty throughout our lives. Opportunities will appear to help us to aspire to greater levels of consciousness and freedom. Our progress depends on a fundamental change in attitude of mind and the desire and willingness to understand God's plan and our part of it. So, my friends, go forward in love and trust. Be that beacon of light and help another on their path.